YouTube. This is Rick Wilson. Hey, we're going to talk super volcanoes some more, but I'm going to take a break from Yellowstone. We're going to take a little detour, and uh, I thought it would be nice to do a little video, just a short video on each of the other five super volcanoes in the world, starting with Valles Caldera in New Mexico, which is an active super volcano. It is active and can erupt tomorrow. Um, this is it right here in New Mexico. All these red spots, is, this is like a map showing places where the past eruptions, the rock and lava can still be found today from past eruptions. Um, well, let me move on here to the next picture. And blow this up some so you all can see it. There. This is it. This is the caldera here. This outer line is the caldera. It's 13 miles across. Not as big as Yellowstone, but this, it, this is the, out of the six super volcanoes, this is the baby. This is the smallest. Um, it's a little bit different from Yellowstone. It's built differently from Yellowstone. And we'll go with this. This is a short video, it's, it, you know, but we'll cover this stuff. All right, here's Highway 4 running through it. I, I just wonder how many people I might have driven to there. Don't even know you're in the center of a super volcano. Um, I had no. I, I've been out west many, many times. I didn't know this was here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see it next time we go. Uh, but anyway, there's the caldera. Um, here's the resurgent dome that has formed since the last caldera formed. This, this inner ring, you see an inner ring here? There's a ring of lava domes, which are a little different from the dome in the center. That's a resurgent dome. The resurgent dome is caused by the magma chamber pushing up. Lava domes are caused by lava tubes pushing uh, the ground up locally where they're about to break out into a, 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 a you know, small local eruption. Uh, now let me move on. Here's a picture from inside the caldera. Way, I don't know if you can read the writing, but way over here is the northwest wall of the caldera. Whoops, didn't mean to bump the camera there. This this here is the that resurgent dome that's the center of the caldea, caldera. So this lower land in here, it makes a ring around that all the way around. Um, and uh, this slide, let me, I got to bring the picture down. This slide just shows the relative size. This big yellow square here would be the size of the Yellowstone magma chamber. This big green cube would be the size of the Valles Caldera uh, magma chamber. And then they show Tambor, Crater Lake, Krakatoa. Mount St. Helens is just a little tiny one where you're here. But you can see it's, it looks like it's about half size Yellowstone, but it's not. It's, it's more like a fourth. Because when you talk in volume, something that looks half as big as actually one fourth. Um, so it's, it's, it's the magma chamber. Like I said, this is the smallest of the super volcanoes. And this slide is just to show the relative size. And and this slide shows how this is different from Yellowstone. Yellowstone has a big giant magma chamber that has come up from the center of the earth and been there like forever while the while the continent moves across it. Um, the Vales caldera uh, it started out as a chain of volcanoes that that ran along the Rio Grande Rift. So uh, so it says here 1.4 million years ago there was this this line of uh, volcanoes and they each had a, their own supply from the uh, molten center of the earth and and uh, these volcanoes grew over time and as they grew their respective magma chambers grew and until they got so big that they eventually just joined all together into one big magma chamber which is is now similar to Yellowstone now that it doesn't matter how it got there but it got there so now there's one big magma chamber which was the size of what I just showed you in the previous slide and uh, now once you got the big magma chamber then the ground above gives way and collapses and that forms the caldera 
and um, this is present day this is what it looks like present day this is that resurgent dome that has pushed up by the magma uh, the magma chamber and caused the resurgent dome now look here here's you see this lava from the lava dome going up in a tube and then it there's a mound big mound here that's that's the lava dome that I was talking about and I'm going to show you this next picture and it's I thought it was just an incredible picture but see each 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 lava dome wherever it's at around this resurgent dome it has its own supply to the magma chamber there look at that isn't that something here's your caldera here's the resurgent dome and here's all these lava domes now the last eruption at this volcano was only 40,000 years ago and, and an eruption will come out of one of these lava domes now see this one here you can actually see if you look real close you can actually see the lava flow that ran down through here and this dome has gone flat that was the last eruption that was 40,000 years ago but each, each one of these at some point is going to be an eruption um, you know anytime uh, that's what I said. This is an active volcano, and it is like uh, Yellowstone. It's it's got geothermal features. It's got hot springs in it. It's got fuma holes blowing out volcanic gases and a small amount of steam. Uh, there are no geysers, and there would be geysers, but it's in the desert. Um, that's the only reason Yellowstone has geysers. If, if Yellowstone was down here where this was at, it would have no geysers either. Uh, there's no you got to have water for the geysers. A lot of water and this place has no water and uh, so but it but it is an active volcano otherwise um, now the why I say it, it's been cooling for, since the last major eruption a million years ago it's been cooling um, it, uh, which is why I say it can't super erupt there's not enough energy in the magma chamber and the magma in this volcano is not as explosive as the magma like at Yellowstone um, but the magma is still there and it can erupt any time and it, like I said it was the most recent was 40,000 years ago uh, and uh, it could happen again anytime uh, now there could be a super eruption in the future but there would have to be a fresh injection of magma into the magma chamber and we would know about that way well well ahead of time um, the roof of that magma chamber is five kil uh, kilometers deep just about like Yellowstone uh, the resurgent dome in the center here formed 100,000 years after the last caldera formed. Um, yeah, I think I've covered about everything on this volcano. Um, I mean, if it does erupt, it's just going to be a local event. I, I wouldn't want to live right beside it. See here, it's, all this is ash flows, caldera rim, ash flows up here. Um, uh, and there was a lava flow down here and more ash flows. And uh, oh, and this thing can put out pyro. When one of these blow, it can put out a pyroclastic uh, cloud, put out a flow. Um, so like that, I wouldn't want to live. I wouldn't want to be, you know, neighbor with this thing. It is a super volcano. And uh, but that's it. We'll we'll go to the Long Valley Caldera in the next video. And I got to work next day. I, I work two to three days a week because uh, I'm getting on in years. And um, and and everything I got is paid for. So. I don't have to work too much, um, and which is why I got time for this stuff. But anyway, just look forward to the next videos. See y'all later.